folks, this is Angela from State of Puzzling. So I just wanted to show you a Paul Klee um, puzzle that I just received um, from Amazon. Um, and I got this from a, I forget, what is the company called? I think it's Puzzle Prints. Let me just uh, take this off here. Yeah, puzzlesprint.com. And this is a wooden puzzle, 750 piece wooden puzzle. Now they had options, I think there were options for, and I'll, I'll put this in the, in the uh, video description. They had options for uh, 250, 500, 750, and I believe it went to about a thousand on this one. And so, you know, wooden puzzles can get pretty, you know, on the pricey. But what I was interested in really, um, obviously, was the image, right? Um, as you know, you know, I collect a lot of the puzzles that I collect are because of the images. Um, and especially if they're fine art images, I'm particularly interested in, in putting those into my collection. So I, I do have another Paul Klee um, puzzle. This is my second one. Um, in his lifetime, you know, Paul Klee is a Swiss um, artist. Um, he died in 1940, died at the age of 60. But in his lifetime, he created over 10,000 pieces of art, um, paintings, drawings, etchings. And he really um, did a lot of his work in the abstract, you know, cubist, which is kind of what you're seeing in here, um, surrealist, you know, and he kind of worked in, in um, for a period of time within the Bauhaus, um, you know, art movement um, out of Germany. And so this particular piece, it's called Senecio, and it, it, it signifies a, how he views, how he was viewing um, the head of a man going into senility. Um, and, you know, it's kind of, it, it kind of has this um, fractured appearance, right, um, which I think is kind of indicative of, of um, sen uh, senility in that condition. Um, but this is really kind of a cubist representation. We use the geometric shapes here. He did this in 1922. So he was kind of, you know, in the midst, uh, middle-aged man and well into his art career is very, very prolific. This particular image, um, again, it's right now it's sitting, it's housed in a very important museum in Switzerland. It's the Kunstmuseum um, Basel in Switzerland. Um, but I, I just think that the, the treatment of this particular puzzle was just done with such care. Um, this is meant to be a frame, you know, you can actually frame it. Um, they give you that apparatus in the puzzle itself. So you're getting quite a bit with this. And like I said, I'll, I'll put all of the information, pricing, all of that kind of thing. But, you know, really sturdy piece of cardboard. This piece here, it feels like glass. I'm not quite sure if it's, if it's actual glass or is it just a really thick plastic, but it kind of feels like glass. It, it has the weight of glass. It's definitely, you know, quite heavy. And then as you come in to the puzzle, you know, you have this, you know, thank you for ordering. I really love when, when companies include this. It's a, kind of a small company um, and they really give you their, you know, value statement, you know, the commitment that they have. The MoMA puzzles is, are like that as well, the Museum of Modern Art puzzles. And then you have a burlap sack in here. The box itself is extremely sturdy. It's heavy. It's, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. So it's 750 pieces and these are wooden. These are wooden pieces. So I'll take some out here and you can kind of see. Okay, these are, and they're pretty thick. You know, look at the thickness on that. I mean, this is, this is a well-made puzzle, a really well-made puzzle. I'll have a great time um, doing this one. But again, this is my second Paul Klee. I wanted to do a, I have a, I have several wooden puzzles in my collection and I kind of wanted to add this one. Um, again, the image, 
is what I fell in love with. And I did a little bit of research on the image and I really liked the story um, of, of that image and what it's telling. So really we'll have a great time doing this one. But this one is um, Puzzles Print, puzzlesprint.com. And I'll put the, I think I got this one from Amazon. I didn't go directly to the website, but I will put this um, on the site as well, on the video description as well. This is Angela from State of Puzzling. Happy puzzling, folks. Goodbye for now.